damn it. What you need for this job is Torx 25, Torx 15, a screwdriver and some pliers. So we will start with unscrewing two Torx screws. One located behind here, another one located behind here. Try to work with car. So just put the car into ignition and turn the wheel so that you will be able to reach the, the screw more easily. Additionally, you can adjust your steering wheel by moving that down. Okay, so what we want is to open this up. I recommend using some uh, card or something soft, not to damage the, the steering wheel. So just pop it away and gently just unscrew it. So when the screw is loose, just leave it in. So, and now we want to do another one. Put ignition again, turn it around. Okay, so good. Remove ignition, take the key out again, take the card, stick it in. Up and pop it away. Perfect. So, just gently unscrew it Good, until you feel it's loose and then that's it, leave it inside. Turn it back, turn off the ignition, this is the must because we are dealing with the airbag and you don't want to mess with that. Another thing what I would recommend is to <coughs> unplug the negative cable for the battery. So just take the cover off. Take the number 10 number 10 wrench and gently unscrew it. <coughs> But before doing that, you should know that your car will reset. So if you have an aftermarket radio, you will need a security code. And also we will need to reset the, the windows if you tap a bit. Just really gently. Oops, that's it. Take it off. The front part just comes off easily and then there is only one cable behind so now just take the silver part and gently push it off the steering wheel look I already did it a bit and just work it around until you get it off so I guess I will need two hands now for that Oops, one part is, so you can already see the shifter behind, but we actually need to take this one, this guy out. You can see it doesn't move, it doesn't move at all. This one clicks nicely. When you took off the, the silver ring, remove this white and that white. In order to take off this cable, you need like a hook. I took the smallest Torx key I had and just stick it in, just stick it in nicely and push it out and that's it and then it pops out nicely. So this one is a bit tricky but you need to push it out here so you need to push this orange part back it's like a it's on a spring or so. 
by the way I didn't mention uh, I put like a, a microfiber towel uh, down on my steering wheel just to not, not to scratch it and now we want to remove that part so this is the screw we need to unscrew T15 okay this part is off we put it on secure place don't lose anything and now this fella bam he's out okay so what you want to do is to take this sticker off you don't need it but you need access to this little pin to this pin from the inner side so just push the, this small electronic screwdriver in and try to push this pin out push it out and now he sticks out take some pliers take it bam it's outside good now take the whole thing apart and look I can already see what the problem was you can see this little plastic broke off make sure that you don't lose this spring this is the essential part of it I just figured out that actually all four those pieces broke off I really have no clue why this happened I never used the, the shifter anyway but I just I just figured that this thing stuck inside the case and I was not able to to push it further in so let's see now we will leave those aside the the spring needs to stay in and let's assemble it back hold it firmly and push this pin back in all the way in maybe you need to use some some pliers or something and then that's it now look check click 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 boom issue solved good so we are back our little bad boy is working now we need to reassemble everything we put little Bella from the from the back push this cable through this hole then we take the silver ring connect the, this cable the cable which will stick here out for the shift up then <coughs> connect this cable back here connect this cable back to the ring and then screw down from behind see it, how we do it okay we push the cable through now we stick the guy on top just push it hop hop it's inside the cable sticks out here don't forget to screw back the Torx 15 So now let's let's do the ring. The ring comes on like that. Okay, so we connected the two cables, this one and that one here for the shifts. Now we just gently push the whole ring firmly on place. Boom. Okay, that's it. We also want to return this white cable back in his place okay that's it and now the final part needs to get on the black cable from the whole silver ring snaps back on now this yellow cable needs to go there perfect push it firmly on place it will nicely snap click that's it now the final part comes in and the screws back in okay nice and slowly push it back and now let's return those screws to put those plastics back in you your 
your steering wheel needs to face up because otherwise you will not be able to so put ignition in after we did everything with the with the battery okay and just push it in it clicks in in the place that's it perfect now let's do a test drive okay we are on the test drive let's put it on manual and let's see oh yeah drive safe see you next time